Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Big Tahunga Canyon. Uh, another one take. This one's really cool. It's a Subaru STI, and this is Sammy. Thank you for coming out, Thank sir. Thank you for having me. You can learn all the nitty gritty details of this car at wheel well, but uh, for now, just tell me about your car a little bit. Well, it's a 2007 STI. Uh -huh. I bought it with 52,000 miles on it. Okay, and now, now you've got 75. 75. So all it's right. babied for two and a half years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm running, what is it, on the brake setup, I'm running a DBA 4000 series okay. with HP Plus. Okay. Former and function coilovers. Okay. And then I have the APR splitter and wing on it. Okay. And your engine is mostly stock, right? Mostly stock and okay. it's tuned by Yumi Sport and it's pushing, what is it, 288 to the wheels. Okay. And 315 torque. Okay. So pretty reasonable performance. Yeah. And then you've got some uh, some suspension and brake mods to mm -hmm. uh, to back it up. All right. Well, let's see how it drives. I haven't right. driven uh, this generation STI in a while, actually. So this should be interesting. Yeah. I'm sitting super low in the car. These Sparco seats, I feel like. Very rally car. Oh, that's a hole. It's not going yeah. through there. Okay. Oh, the clutch is uh, low. When I bought the Sparco seats, I yeah. hated the STI ones right yeah. away because there's not enough support in the sides for you. Yeah. I like I like a good aftermarket seat. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Well, this road is a little bit bumpy. We tried to do Angeles Crest, but the cops scared us away. So much for good morning, huh? Yeah, it's all right. No worries. We can still have a good time. Rally yeah. car, right? We can True. handle a little bit of bumpy roads. All right. Well, this car, it feels automatically more powerful than you mentioned the power numbers. Yeah. It feels, it feels like more. It uh, feels like it gets that power now. True. The, I'm running, what is it, 21.2 pounds of boost on it right now. I like your shifter boot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> It's, oh, oh, you gotta put, I just got out of that Jetta. You need to put a little more steering inputs in the Subarus. That's pretty typical of Subaru though. On center, a little more steering input required. I like the power delivery though. Yeah, it's instant right away. It's good, yeah. Very nice. Your brakes, nice and tight. What kind of brakes do you say, DBA? DBA, yeah. 4000 series drilled and slotted. Very nice. And I'm running some, what is it, um, staying steel lines on it too. Your seat, your seat might be a little loose. It's, yeah, it's, it's a bit. Moving, it's moving a bit. around a little bit. I just, I don't want to end up through the windshield. You know no, you won't, mean? you won't. You're good. It looks real beasty, all blacked out with the wing and everything. Yeah. Uh, I'll continue this way. I like the power. Here we go. Cornering. What tires are you running? Uh, Hank and Cars 3's on it. Oh, those are good. Yeah, yeah, it's a good tire. Especially for the money. That's true. Man, the sound is really neat too. It's not it's not overly loud. That cop was talking about your exhaust. You know, this thing isn't even close to the loudest Subaru. No. It's probably not even the loudest Subaru on this hill today. <laughs> I had to tame it down for that same reason. Yeah. I hate, I hate just getting harassed by the cops. Especially when you have a Japanese car. Yep. You know, my Corvette I, it's so loud, I never get hassled. But anyone with an even moderately tuned Japanese car uh -huh. is gonna get hassled all the time. It's just a scene. Dude, I like your car. Thank you. This is cool. It feels so planted. And this is, except for the brand new one, this is yeah. the best looking generation of STI, they isn't are. it? I almost bought a Hawkeye when they were new. I ended up buying a John Cooper Works Mini just because I wanted to be different. Yeah. And I felt like a lot of people were getting getting these at the time. But if you if I had bought one then, I'd have been smarter because these things are actually still worth good money, aren't they? They are. Whereas that Mini I had is probably worth eight grand now. The Subaru is probably worth 18. Mm -hmm. Woo! Do you notice, I mean, when you put that big wing on, that is a big wing. That is. Did you notice any actual parasitic drag from it or is it, do I, you, do you I really felt... notice any effect of it? On the freeway? Yeah. It was immediately. Really? Yes, immediately. At 80 miles an hour, the APR says it, like, it's a downforce of 150 pounds. Okay. So it was just instant like that. But do you but do you notice any any like if you do a fourth gear pull on the highway, do you feel does it oh, feel slower? No, it just sinks down. Yeah. I imagine it at, it would probably be slower at, at higher speeds, you know, yes. over a hundred or so. This is a good car. <laughs> And it's running right now because I got it currently aligned. Yeah. By West End. Oh, West End. Yeah. Man, awesome our show shot. is our show is doing so much free advertising for West End because we end up filming a lot of cars yeah. that have been done there. But they know what they're doing. That's they? true. 
So it's running a 50 50 weight distribution right now. The 16, 1634 rear, rear front right now. Nice. This is a good car, man. No joke. It's a lot of fun. Oh, oh. And do you, did you say you work at a Subaru dealer? I don't. You do, right? I don't. Oh, you don't? I, don't. I thought your email was, had, was something about a Subaru business. No. How much of the work here did you do yourself? Uh, Any of it? Not really. Oh, tunnel! No. Sweet. Hang yeah. on. Let's see. Here's what it sounds like a tunnel. This thing rips, man. It's good. I know we don't have a mic and exhaust mic, yeah. so I don't think those uh, the tunnel poles will tell us much. But let's find a good U-turn spot. All right. But yeah, this car is very nicely dialed in. It's low, but it doesn't rub. Yeah. It's it's firm. I mean, it's definitely it's a firm ride. Yeah. But it's not it's not terrible. You could is this your daily? It is my daily. Wow. It is my daily. It's <laughs> a big wing for a daily. <laughs> Finding U-turn that's not just crap. Oh, there we go. We're, we'll turn around and this this guy looks like he's got the setup right here. All right. I think he may have been here for a while. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, that is that is a, a, a permanent home, I think, for that guy. Yeah, that's a good road, though. Yeah, no, this is and actually the tarmac where we started was not so good, but it got good quick, didn't it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Definitely. Maybe it's just because it's got so much torque. Mm -hmm. You know, it's tuned like kind of like a rally car. You yeah. know, 350 horse and then 450 torque or whatever. It's almost it's almost a shame that we live in California because if we live somewhere else, you could put snow tires on this thing and just yeah. make it a beast. That's true. But California is summer year round. I know. It's still good. I'll, I'll still drive this car all day here. It's really stable, really planted. It's very predictable. Tunnel. Whoa. Nah, just cyclist. Let's not be too crazy. Oh. I, I understand why it draws the attention from the cops, though. It's black. It's low. And you, the wing. You can see that wing. <laughs> I can see that wing from a ways away. Yeah. Pedals are really nice and easy to heel toe. Clutch is predictable. I really dig how low I'm sitting here. It's awesome. a lot lower than the stock seat. It really makes you uh, makes you feel like you're in a rally car. It's got it's it, when you have these back and forths here. It has a really nice kind of rhythm about it. You yeah. know, wrong gear. Very neutral. And I mean, I, I know that you know yeah. that this car is faster than I am driving it. It is. I know we both know that. I, well, have it, I still haven't pushed to the fullest potential. Yeah, you work your way yeah. up though. But a borrowed car, first time, public road, I'm not going to be too stupid. But Actually, I learned how to drive stick manual car, manual with this car. In this car? In this car. Same clutch? Same clutch. <laughs> I don't think, you know, people are so worried about learning stick in a car, uh -huh. because people, you know, they think you're going to fuck it up, but yeah. it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't. Doing drag launches and stuff is yeah. much worse than learning to drive stick. And as soon as you're off first gear, you're ready to go. Yeah, you're fine. I like your car, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you brought this thing out. You're from way down south, aren't you? No, I'm actually from the San Fernando Valley. Oh, so you are? Oh, that was easy then. Okay. Yeah. There's a little, local little canyon for us. There's a lot to like here. It feels really good. It's really quick. It's so stable. My, my clutch foot keeps getting caught on something on the left. I don't know what it is, but... It could be the floor mat. Oh, maybe. Is this a short shifter or the standard shifter? That's standard. Yeah. The standard STI shifter is better, is shorter than the WRX one though. It's good. I might, I'm not really looking at the speedo, but I might be going a little faster than I think I'm going because... Yeah, you are. Going all right. Just keeping on the speed limit. Dude, this is, yeah, of course <laughs> we're going exactly the speed limit. All right, so what 
don't I like about this car? Not much, actually. I mean, it definitely exhibits some, some signs of wear. Yeah. Uh, but besides that, I mean, very solid. Uh, cyclist we should watch out for. It's important when you're out for a drive to not commit vehicular manslaughter. You know what I'm saying? That's true. A yeah, murder really ruins your driving experience. It's, it's done. You know, understeer can ruin your driving experience, but not as quickly as murder can. Wow, there's, you, it's really just like very confidence inspiring. Mm -hmm. You can really kind of huck it in and just, yeah. I mean, not even a hint of tire squeal or anything. And I'm pretty sure the tire's not even warmed up yet. It seems totally fine to me. Just yeah. get in it and go. Has it been reliable? It has. It really has. For the two and a half years that I've owned it, yeah, I barely put, what, 25,000 miles yeah. on it? It's been totally reliable. Oh, and here's the road getting shitty. But look, car stays planted. I was overshifting there. I did not need to go to Wow, though, I, I'm, I'm impressed, though. I mean, I expected it would be good because I saw the picture yeah. and I was like, oh, that, that's going to be cool. But um, the power delivery, the stability, the ride, yeah. it's good. You know, it, it definitely feels very grippy, but it doesn't beat you up. Um, you could, I, I could go for a very long drive in this and not feel like, uh, not feel like I wished for any more suspension or anything like that. I think you've done well here. What did you say? What uh, what dampers do you have? I have a uh, function informant coil over side two. This is very nice. Thanks so much, Sammy. Welcome. I really appreciate it. Thanks if you want me. to uh, you want to learn a little more about Sammy's car, you can check out his wheel well page. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but this was neat, and uh, these Hawkeyes, I think, are they're going to hold their value well. They're a great platform for tuning. They look cool. Yeah. They're practical with the back seat and. Uh, yeah, and this is one of the good ones. Yeah, it is. See you guys next time.